and welcome back to the channel on this video as I just felt a few raindrops hopefully it doesn't rain uh, I want to talk about battery range I on a recent video was talking about a little bit about battery range with the graffiti X and so I thought on this video I would do a little more talking about uh, battery range particularly with faster e-bikes and what I mean by faster is bikes that are getting ridden at speeds of say 30 let's say 30 to 35 miles per hour that's not the fastest e-bike or anything but that's what I consider a faster e-bike if you're consistently riding or are the bike is capable of going those speeds and so with a little bit faster bike you may be more likely to want to ride farther and so you need a larger battery to be able to handle the distance and the faster speed so I think there's a ways to go on the uh, in the e-bike world on battery size um, just to get us to that much further you know because once you get out there riding you know, it's, I don't know it's so much fun that sometimes we just want to keep riding and even if we're not going long distance maybe we want to ride for a long period of time and Let's face it, when you're going speeds of 30 or 35 miles per hour consistently, uh, that zaps your battery pretty quick. And uh, I mean, with a larger battery capacity, though, comes a couple of things. One of them is a hefty price. Um, so you're going to pay uh, a pretty good penny for a large battery especially if it's a higher voltage, let's say uh, 70 vo uh, 72 volt. The higher the voltage, the uh, more the uh, battery is going to cost you, uh, along with the higher amp, uh, amp hour. But uh, I would love to see a battery someday that could get you like something crazy, like 100 miles which some bikes already claim that they can do that, but let's face it, when they give you a range level, that range level is always on pedal assist one. Nobody uh, gives you a good range uh, number for a bike that's going faster consistently it's always under the best conditions 175 pound rider if that and actually uh, I am exactly right there at about 175 right now so uh, I'm that weight of a rider and I should mention I am riding the Lyric Graffiti right now the 2022 model the original this is the original um, graffiti but uh like i was saying about the uh batteries there the larger battery you're going to pay more money and also it's going to be heavier so it's going to weigh you down your bike down a little bit more and in some instances where are you going to put it right like your some bikes the frames are in, built in such a way that maybe you can't fit it on there depending on how large the uh, the battery is in size physical size but uh yeah it doesn't take long when you got a bike that can go faster uh to chew it up to chew up the uh, battery uh, uh, 
and so uh, yeah, I don't know. I'd like to be able to get a minimum of about 50 miles minimum, and I'd love to see 100 miles and have no range anxiety at all, none. And whether that's going to happen, I don't know. And if it does ever happen, uh, it's usually anyway, almost always, um, you have to come up with some kind of a setup yourself because there's no, well, there are a few bikes that claim that they can get 100 miles, but I, I don't know for a fact that that's true. Like I say, sometimes they're giving you these uh, numbers under the best of conditions, a lightweight rider, not anybody that's 200 pounds or 200 plus pounds. Uh, and that's not counting if you're carrying cargo, uh, climbing, hill climbing, and you might have lots of strong headwind. They're giving it to you under the best of conditions. And that's just not totally realistic. You're not always gonna ride 30 or 35 miles per hour, but I'm just thinking when you get out in the country roads there where you can, uh, there's no bike lane and maybe you wanna kind of slide right in there and ride with the cars. Um, and feel a little safer doing it um, then uh, you want to be able to do that and be able to have battery that can take you there but I know the the one big huge obstacle is the price batteries are just way expensive I mean that's always the a good chunk of your uh, bike price is the battery <laughs> yep shooting a video So let me know in the uh, comments what you think of batteries and what do you use for a battery and how far do you ride? Do you ever do long distance riding like 50 mile rides? And are you constantly watching your battery gauge to see you know what you got left? My philosophy on batteries is always one amp hour is one mile per range. That's the way I look at it. If you get a little more than that, that's a bonus. And that's riding it sometimes faster and sometimes 20, 25.
it's very rare that they um, you, you get what is advertised for uh, range I I never believe any of the uh, ranges until you get a bike yourself that bike and test it out and you can tell once the battery starts going down uh, especially when they get below 60% say they drop off pretty quick and you start losing quite a bit of power that's the other thing too right if you had a higher capacity battery it'd be nice too that maybe you're not going to lose your power of the bike quite as quick especially if you want to do long distance riding I know uh, powerful lithium do uh, custom batteries and stuff, but they are uh, very expensive. We need a more uh, we need a more compact battery that can go farther. It's smaller in size and cheaper in price. And that's probably asking way too much, but it'd be nice. It'd be awesome. All right, well, that's gonna do it for this video. I thought I'd talk a little bit about batteries and uh, I, for one, would like to see more battery capacity but um, I'm a little bit nervous to, to see how much that would cost so the price uh, yeah that could be uh, very expensive but anyway we can dream so if you like this video go ahead and hit the like button and if you'd like to subscribe to the channel thank you very much just hit that subscribe button if you want to be notified as to when the next video comes up on the channel just hit that notification bell and you'll be notified and if you want to comment on this or any other video go ahead and leave that in the comments below and uh, go ahead and tell your friends about us and uh, let them uh, let them know that we're around or any biker mark and check us out share our videos if you'd like and so that's going to do it for this video and until next time Keep your wheels on the road.